Uh, we're doing a new setup this morning on a Hayward ProLogic. The sand filter and one single speed pump. We're going to hook up these temperature sensors here. We're going to use our drill and the 11 30 seconds bit to drill into the LP. Now, our temperature sensor here. It's going to go down the pipe like that, and then the clamp is going to go on top of it. We use a 516 nut driver to tighten down the clamp. We're going to take off our panel here. We've got three 516 nuts or 516 screws on here. Take that over to touch any of this. We're going to turn off all of our breakers. Make sure we don't have any power. Bring the plane. And we're going to take a really tiny flathead screwdriver and loosen up these screws. In there. If you look really closely, the top two say pull spot sensor and to below that say air sensor. So we're going to put our air temperature sensor up on the We've got our air temperature sensor right in there. We've got the bottom of it just hanging out. Next we are going to run our flow switch and of course always double check your arrows right there. Make sure that the arrow is facing the right direction otherwise your salt system is not going to work. We've got our got our Flow switch wire run up through the bottom as well. It, the end of it looks just like a, an old telephone cable plug, if any of you are old enough to remember that. But it's just going to be right in there. Just like that. Next, we are going to punch out the back of that thing. It's with a screwdriver for our. Cable or salt sensor. Panel back on, put our screws back in, and we'll plug in our cord to our salt, uh, salt cell cable. We're just going to plug into that little port right there. Just, just push it in. Now we are going to turn all of our breakers back on, and our screen's going to pop up. So, first thing we're going to do is hit the menu button and go to configuration. We're going to hold down the two arrows until it beeps. It says unlocked. I'm going to scroll over to chlorine configuration. Scroll up and push the plus button to enable the chlorinator. Display is correct. Our cell type is a T cell 3, so we're going to scroll down to 3. You can find the cell type on the side of the cell. Keep scrolling over, pull spa configuration, push up. It's a pull only. There's no spa on this one. Um, no auxiliaries on this one. Filter configuration. Our filter pump is a one speed pump. You can go up and down to adjust speeds if it's variable speed. But we're going to stick with one speed. Freeze protect enabled. That means freeze protect will come on. Freeze temperature. We're going to go. So we're at 33 degrees on our freeze protect, which means anytime it gets below 33, the pump is going to come on automatically to prevent freezing. Um, heater configuration, we don't have a heater on this one. Solar config, we don't have solar. External input, I don't even know what that means. Lights configuration, we're going to go up. Right now it's on manual on off. We like to set the lights up for a time clock, so scroll up to time clock. Keep scrolling over, lights relay is standard. Lights interlock, disabled. Don't know what that means. Don't need to freeze protect the lights. There's no auxiliary, there's no auxiliary too. And there's no automatic valves. Remote menus, we're going to disable those because sometimes Bluetooth can interact with that and mess up the system.